the Phoenix metro area has grown uh, substantially over the years, but a lot of the growth that we're going to be seeing in the near future is going to be in the southwest valley region and we need to keep up with that growth and that means building new infrastructure like the 22 mile long South Mountain Freeway that will connect the East Valley uh, with the West Valley. The South Mountain Freeway will have a total of 40 bridges along the 22 mile corridor but the longest bridge is located in the Salt River. Locally there is a need for uh, mobility in the Levine region uh, for direct freeway access to I-10 either eastbound or westbound. This South Mountain Freeway, more importantly the Salt River Bridge, would provide that mobility. Construction of the Salt River Bridges for the South Mountain Freeway started in February of 2017 and we anticipate motorists in the Levine area using the Salt River Bridges by the end of 2019. We're constructing two separate bridges, one bridge for northbound, one bridge for southbound. Each bridge is approximately 2,700 feet in length, 85 feet wide, and they're separated by 60 feet. Currently, we're doing the drill shaft process of the bridge, or we're installing the bridge foundations, essentially the building block of this structure. Each drill shaft we're constructing is six foot in diameter, approximately 80 to 100 feet deep. We're essentially doing two miles of vertical drilling, of remove and replace of the actual native soil with concrete and rebar we're going to discover groundwater at some portion of doing the drill shaft. And in order to protect the lining of our drill shaft, we utilize drilling slurry to coat the outside of the drill shaft to uh, give it some structural integrity for when we can further replace that uh, material with concrete. Once it's been drilled, we're going to set a reinforcing cage. Uh, and then at the final item we do is uh, fill the cavity with concrete. ADOT, keeping Arizona moving.